Hello, my name is Liz Helton. And I'm Sherry Roberts. And we're here to talk with you today about safety in the laboratory. The laboratory experience is an important part of this course, and the following recommendations are intended to help you develop good laboratory work habits and keep the possibility of accidents to a minimum. So listen carefully and ask your instructor any questions you may have. First, we are going to talk about the exits and safety equipment present in all the labs. Your instructor will show you where each of these items is located in the lab you are using. There is also a map showing these features on the bulletin board in your classroom. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the locations in the lab. These are the exits to the main hallway. If you are asked to evacuate the lab, these are the exits you should use. Here is the fire extinguisher. Each fire extinguisher is a bit different, but the instructions are clearly marked and involve removing a pin, aiming the fire extinguisher at the base of the fire, and squeezing the lever to release the foam. If you find your clothing on fire, do not run to the fire blanket. Have someone else open the cabinet, remove the blanket, unfold the blanket, and wrap it around you. You should then roll on the floor to extinguish the flames. Have someone call public safety using the emergency button on the lab phone. If you get something in your eyes, remove your contact lenses. Move quickly to the eye wash station. Put your eyes close to the faucets. Turn the water on. The on paddle is to the right. Hold your eyes open and roll them while rinsing them. Rinse for 15 minutes. Ask someone to call public safety using the emergency button on the lab phone. Here is the first aid kit. It contains standard first aid materials. Please notify your instructor if you need to use the first aid kit. Children are never allowed in the labs and cannot wait unsupervised in the hallways. We know this can be hard, but please make child care arrangements for your children before coming to lab. Don't work alone in the laboratory. Your instructor can give you the schedule for lab monitors. Pay careful attention to any additional safety precautions given to you by your instructor at the beginning of lab. These additional safety items are found in all of the labs except the microbiology lab. Here are the spill cleanup materials. Notify your instructor immediately if something spills. Your instructor will contact the safety officer and emergency coordinator or public safety. Chemical spill should only be cleaned by trained personnel. This is the broken glass container. It should really just be called the glass container. Any glass that you are throwing away, broken or not, should go into this container. The maintainers expect to find glass here and will take the appropriate precautions. Do not put glass into the regular trash. The maintainers will have to pick it out to dispose of it. You must report any spills or accidents to the instructor at once. This is not so you can be punished. It is so the instructor can get appropriate help for you and if there is a spill, to clean up the spill correctly. There is no eating or drinking in the laboratory. If it is a long lab, the instructor may set a place outside the lab for drinks, but you must leave the lab to take a drink. Never leave heat sources unattended. Wear eye guards if you are instructed to do so. Clean the eye guard with a safety clean towelette located near the eye guard station. Adjust the eye guard so it fits your face tightly but comfortably. At the end of lab, return the eye guard to the cabinet with the open side facing up. Your instructor will set the germicidal timer once all the eye guards have been returned. Wear appropriate clothing to the lab, and if you have long hair, please tie it back. Closed-toed shoes are recommended. Your instructor will show you how to dispose of hazardous material correctly. Do not dispose of hazardous material down the drain. Keep the aisles and exits clear. Wash down the lab benches at the end of each wet lab. Wash your hands before leaving the laboratory. In fact, you should wash your hands frequently, and especially during flu season. Rub your hands together under running water for at least 20 seconds. You can sing the alphabet song twice. That takes about 20 seconds. Remember that exposure to some chemicals may be hazardous to women who are pregnant or may become pregnant during the semester and individuals who have depressed immune systems. Even though dissection materials are ordered in the safest usable preservative we can find, it is department policy not to allow pregnant students to participate in dissections. It is important to talk with your instructor so appropriate accommodations can be made. 
Now that we have gone through all the safety procedures, please complete the safety sheet your instructor has given to you and return the bottom portion to your instructor. You are ready to have a safe and I hope educational and enjoyable experience in the laboratory.